Hello everyone and welcome back to another Suppression Session with Modal. A while ago, this guy suggested that I make a video about the top 5 secondary weapons in Billiforce. I stupidly committed to that and after 3 weeks of procrastination I finally got round to doing it. I hope you're fucking happy. Also I have a few things about my channel that I want to say so I'll bore you with that at the end of the video. If you're too lazy to watch the entire the video then here's the timestamp to skip to. I can't think of anything else to say so just enjoy the video. Number 5. M320 Dot. If you've played more than one match of Bullet Force, you've probably encountered someone using this scummy, bloody shotgun grenade launcher. It is just so scummy that anyone who has 60,000 credits just has, absolutely has, to buy this and torture everyone else with it. It requires no skill. It's a one-shot weapon and it has a crosshair the size of Wellini's head. The reason it made this on this list is because, well, it works. As you can probably tell by now, it does well at killing the enemies. But just because I put it on this list, it doesn't mean that I condone using it. If you use it, you are no longer a friend of the Modal Gaming YouTube channel. Number 4. The Hand. The Hand. Ah, the Hand. A comical addition to a lovely, kind children's game. 1000 gold and you can feel your hand in your hands. You can listen to the shout of your slowly decaying self as your spiralling depression gets worse and worse. You can give yourself arthritis reloading so the pain of that temporarily takes away the pain of your loneliness. The hand, ah, oh, the hand. On a serious note though, how can you not like this? The first time I saw it, I instantly knew I had to buy it and I blew my life savings on a fucking body part. In addition, this is actually decent. It's a two or three shot kill most of the time. One really bad thing about it though is the sights. Well, if you can even call it sights. There isn't any sort of indication where you are going to shoot, so good luck aiming. Number 3, Tech 9. This is a pretty new addition to Bullet Force, and it's a pretty good addition too. As only the millionth gold weapon, it boasts a pretty fast fire rate, decent accuracy and nice damage. I really want to say more about this weapon, but there isn't really much to say other than it's a fully automatic pistol, and it's a powerful weapon. I don't get paid for this, so you shouldn't expect too much. Number 2. Owen. Owen is such a turd of an egg that it's hilarious. Sorry Owen, I just couldn't help doing that. Number 2. 44 Magnum. If you haven't heard of the 44 Magnum, then you haven't lived. It's pretty much the only revolver anyone knows about, so it's not surprising that it's in bullet force. But for real, this weapon is a pocket sniper. I really wanted to make another Rainbow Six Siege reference, but I already did that in another video. It is two shot kill at any range, and with a slow fire rate, you can take nice slow controlled shots, making your enemies suffer as they become as dead in game as they are on the inside. Plus, it's credit, so any lazy sods can get their hands on one. Number 1. Desert Eagle. Let's be real, most of you saw this coming. It's like the 44 Magnum, but it shoots faster and has a much larger magazine, so unlike the 44 Magnum, it can perform decently at close to mid range as well. Plus, it's a gold weapon so you can flex on your enemies to try and make yourself feel a bit better about your dad beating you before you go back to eating a kilo of butter in the corner. Thrilling! Well, there you go. I hope you guys liked that list. It took longer than usual to make, as I was actually trying for once. Whether or not you did, please like and subscribe to make me feel a bit better about how small and insignificant I am in the grand scheme of things and the massive emptiness of the universe in my soul. Now, here is some serious talk about the channel. So first off, I would like to apologise about my shitty upload schedule. I have exams coming up in a few weeks and there's 8 year olds running around the house most of the time, so it can be hard to find a nice quiet spot to record. Also I often struggle to think of decent video ideas, which is why I often ask you guys for suggestions. Also on another note, my channel hasn't been growing much recently, so I'm going to host a giveaway to try and gather some attention, so be ready for that. Another thing, is starting quite soon, I hope to be able to start recording and uploading PC games, so at some point I may start uploading stuff like CSGO and Rainbow Six Siege when I have to, a chance to buy them and try them out properly. Well that's all I have for you lot this time round. I hope you enjoyed this because I enjoyed making this video. Thanks for watching, bye!